<laughs> oh my god! What's up guys? Mel and Neg here again. And this week we're going I am so sorry. <laughs> and this week we're going to be doing the best friend tag. We have some questions compiled on our phones that we looked up online. So we're going to be asking each other those. Let's See do it! Seeing how well we know each other. Now let's do it. Alright. Question... Go ahead. Starting off with an easy one. How and when did you and your best friend meet? Would you like to answer this one? I'll, t I'll take this one, Megan, thanks. So we were in kindergarten. We talked a little bit about this in our car vlog from last week, but we were in kindergarten. Megan was playing with the blocks. I also wanted to play with the blocks. So I just went over and asked if I could join in and play blocks with her, and she said yes, and that was it. Here we are today. Yeah. Okay, next question. Describe each other in three words. I would have to... Sorry, go ahead. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Just go ahead. I would have to say patient. <laughs> Mo is a very, very patient person. Aww. Very patient. I'm not a generic bitch. Quirky. You like a lot of weird stuff. I do like a lot of weird stuff, but like, I like that. I really like that about me. I've embraced that. I really like that about me. I love that about I me. I love that about me. So I've embraced that though. So Mo is very quirky, um, just kind of, you know, out there, which is cool. Like that's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, like I I like that. That's a good thing. And the last one I'm gonna have to say is old fashioned. <laughs> you're very Mo, you're you're straight up an old person. I am an old person in like in a, a young person's body. In a twenty three year old body. <laughs> like Mo. Like I'm an old soul. I like I like that. Yeah. Better. Like I'm an old soul. Very very much an old soul. Okay. Three words to describe Meg. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say adventurous. Um, just I feel like you could you would go anywhere, do anything, just to have fun. Like just you know cross it off your bucket list. Like you're one of those people you would just cross everything off your bucket list. You know what I mean? And not to say like oh I did this. But like, because you want to, you want to have to have a fulfilling life. Yeah, I like so, to live. Um. Deep, like a deep thinker, like questions things that not many people would really question, and like I don't know. I feel like we have some nice deep conversations about life, and I like to go on my like philosophical yeah rants. Like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Am I real? Man, I am really on this <laughs> earth right now. I am here. Oh, I got one more. <laughs> genuine would be my third one. Like, Megan is just a genuinely nice, good person. Like, she, you're accepting, like, I feel like anybody could just walk up to you and you could start a conversation with them and they'd feel, like, super comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, you're not a, you're not a judgmental person. That's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I just feel, like, genuine. Just genuinely good. So, what's your best friend's dream job? A nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Which you're living out anyway. Yeah. I. That's a beauty one. <laughs> yeah, a nurse. Any. Growing up, I just wanted a job where I could help other people. That was the main thing, and nursing fits that pretty good. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. A nurse. For you, your dream job? Like, dream job. Oh, okay. Not like what I'm in school for, like, dream job. Anything in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. like I could see Mo wanting to like write for like a gossip magazine oh that'd be fun you know what I mean yeah like because you always have the dirt on what's going on <laughs> I do I'll be like did you hear this <laughs> so yeah I would have to say Mo would be some type of writer some type of inside person in the entertainment industry yeah, for that'd sure be, that'd be really fun Dude, your mom is texting you at the wazoo is she really yes she must have something really important to tell you. Well, she's just gonna have to wait. Mm -hmm. Next question. What is your favorite inside joke that you and your best friend share? Too many to count, though. Yeah, that is true. There we are have way... so many. Like, sometimes our conversations just consist of inside jokes. We quote movies a lot. All the time. Like, all the time. Stupid, stupid Like, movies. stupid lines that people probably didn't even notice in the movie, but we picked up and we find hilarious. Yeah, so I'd have to say, like, movies. Yeah, definitely quoting movies yeah, to each other. That would have to be. This what we do all the, the time. Big inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> Wait, um, did, you, did you skip what? No. Oh, shoot, I did. You skipped the three. <laughs> What is something that annoys you about the other person? Grocery shopping with Megan. The amount of time the woman spends in the grocery store 
is just not right. It's not that bad. It's not. You're being over dramatic. No. <laughs> Something that annoys me about Mo. Um, I will ask Mo, hey Mo, what do you want to do? Knowing. Knowing Mo knows exactly what she wants to do because you always do. I do. I'm you always know what, what you want to go do. and do. And she'll sit there. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you know, Mo, what do you want to do? Do you want to go here? What do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and if she just won't tell me. I'm just not straightforward at all. Next question. If you and your best friend could live anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? This is really tough. This is tough because we want to live in different places. Yes. Like we're very different. We're very different. I would describe Mo as a big city, likes the hustle and bustle, I likes do. to be on the go, go, go all the time. Yeah, I don't like boring. <laughs> I like being on the go and I like doing things, but I, I appreciate nature and I appreciate solitude and kind of being out of the way. Like I would much rather live in like a small hut with a ton of land than be in the, the city and stuff like that. So just thinking of a place that we would both like to live is pretty, pretty difficult. Yeah, I don't even, I, off the top of my head, I cannot think of anywhere. I don't think that has, could. and it's not that I don't like nature. Like don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. I do, I love nature. I love all that kind of stuff, but like, I like the noise. Like, I don't, I don't know why I like the noise and the move and the, like, Lots of people, I don't know. It would have to be a pretty chill, like, middle of the road type of place. Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? It depends on what we're doing, for sure. I would have to say me, I think, off the top of my head. Well, yeah, if you're doing your eyelashes, then yeah, it's gonna take you forever. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not good at putting makeup on, guys. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm done. And I switch my outfit. If I'm getting, like, dressed up for something, I'll switch my yeah. outfit at least, it, like, upwards of seven or eight times. And I don't do that. Yeah, it's me. It's definitely you. What is your best friend's signature scent? Moe's is Bombshell, right? From Victoria's Secret? I, lo I love Bombshell from Victoria's Secret. I have a whole bottle at home. That's it, I'm right? I'm saving, yeah. Is that, okay. I'm saving it. Yes, yeah. I am the ultimate best friend. Yeah, you know, because damn, I don't know yours. <laughs> you don't know mine? I th it's not Sweet Pea, is it? You really don't know? It's something from Gucci. It's something from Gucci. It's Gucci Bamboo. That's my signature scent. Oh, I would have not. I got. I knew Gucci, like that was right there, but the other name I didn't know. Who is your best friend's favorite artist or band? Fall Out Boy. I love Fall Out Boy. I think it's so lame. <laughs> she thinks it's lame, I don't. So you listen to a lot of different people. My music taste is very yeah, it's eclectic. Like, it's all over the all place. All over the place. I listen to mostly rap. So who's my favorite artist, Mo? Do you um, know? Currently. Currently. Current damn. Okay. It's not Meek Mill, is it? Probably in the top ten. <laughs> Drake. Drake's always like it, I was just say. Who doesn't like I was just saying I love Drake Khalid. I Damn! <laughs> Yeah. I knew that! I knew it! What is your best friend's favorite color? Green. Yeah. It's hers. Green. Hands, hands down. Yours is mint. Mint. Or blue. Blue. Like any kind of blue. Yeah. It's been my favorite color since like kindergarten. Yeah. So. I've never changed it. What is your best friend's favorite TV show? Golden Girls. There's that old soul again. Yeah. Golden, <laughs> Golden Girls, hands down. I mean, again, hands down. Like a current, like one that like everybody would have watched or known about is Stranger Things. Yeah, I didn't so see that one either. Good. Stranger Things is so good. It seems a little spooky. I don't watch a lot of TV. You don't watch a lot of TV, so that's hard. I know you love Impractical Jokers. I do. Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? Oh, yes. But no, you're missing, like, the big one. No, honestly, I don't know. You don't... Mo. Should I know? Yes, <laughs> you're gonna feel so stupid. No, no. Mo, I have watched this show since it aired on TV. <gasps> Gossip Girl! No! The Office! Oh, sh**! What was the name of your best friend's first crush? Yo, we both had the same We both one. had the same- He knows. He knows. I it mean- was first grade. It was like disgustingly obvious. Was it? <laughs> Mine was. I've grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, if you're watching this, you're a jab. What's up, man? You're a good guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? What 
do you admire most about the other person? Uh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Is that what you? I- <laughs> What? You thought it was Mo? Yeah, the way you answered it, it didn't sound like her. Hello. I, are you lucky? <laughs> do you want to say hi to the video? Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Something I admire about Mo is that she is very much comfortable with speaking up. Mo is not afraid to stand her ground and um, put her beliefs. You're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. No, and not you're, at all. You're not no. afraid. Like Mo does not take crap from anybody. I don't. <laughs> like she's very good at standing up for herself and making her presence and demanding respect from other people, which is something I really admire about her. I wish yeah. I could be more like that. What do I admire about you? Oh, God. I'm kidding. Like, I definitely just admire your, like, your genuineness or whatever, that's even a word, as a person. Like, you're just a good person. You, you know, like, I just feel like, I don't know. Like, you're everybody's friend, people love to be around you, people confide in you, they're comfortable talking to you about serious things, funny things, stupid things, whatever. People just like to be around you. That's probably the nicest thing you've ever said about me. <laughs> what phobia, what phobias does your best friend have? Needles, blood. Needles and blood. Yeah, definitely. I'll pass out. And pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a baby. Needles, blood, I'm and really pain. really baby. For Mo, definitely, hands down. Yeah. What about me? Sucks because you, you're like fearless. No. Well, Megan's afraid to be scared. Yeah. She doesn't like scary movies, haunted things, like. Yeah. She doesn't like stuff like that. I'm afraid of scary things. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah. Yeah. As a kid, what did your best friend want to be when they grew up? Can I answer first? Megan can answer first because I already know. Mo wanted to be a jockey. That's easily my favorite memory of Mo. <laughs> is the fact she wanted to be a jockey in kindergarten. I don't even know why. I wasn't like a horse person like no. at all. Mo, I don't think you ever touched a horse. What about me? I would say teacher. Yeah. When you were younger, like teacher was definitely your yeah. I want go to. I wanted to be a teacher. I loved school, so I love school. Like you're really good with kids. Yeah. I want to be a teacher. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely yours. When is your best friend's birthday? September 9th, 1994. April 3rd, 1995. Easy question. Yeah, that was really easy. <laughs> Who's the better cook? Megan. <laughs> no, hands down, no doubt. I hate cooking. I hate baking. I hate it. I love to cook. I hate it. So, I'm not the best baker, though. Like, I'm not. You're a really good cook, though. Yeah, I love cooking. Yeah. So. Who handles their money better? Megan. Me. Yes. I like yeah. to save my money. I like to be very smart about my money. Who's more annoying? Megan, it's, more, it's mostly like when we're out in public. Megan will just start being weird and goofy and it's like, Megan, chill the F out, we're in public. You can't do those things here. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, Mo's not really annoying, so. Not oh, It's me, definitely. Yeah, it's me. Megan. I mean, we can skip that. I mean, we can just move on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Who's a better singer? Mo. Me. <laughs> like, not even a competition, it's Mo. Who is more extroverted slash introverted? Mo is more introverted. Mm -hmm. Not in, Mo is you're an outgoing person, but I have to be like ready to be outgoing. Yeah, like, like if that like I have to like mentally prepare. Like if I go out somewhere, like I have to mentally prepare myself to like want to talk to people. Yeah, that I, sounds horrible, but like you know what I mean. Like I have a lot of like social anxiety, and so I have to like literally mentally prepare myself. To meet people and talk to people. Yeah, you're yeah, you're definitely more the extroverted one. Yeah. Out of the two of us. I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. Yeah, you, like you like to be around people, you like to talk to people and yeah. everything like that. So it, it takes a lot for me to be like that. Yeah, I would say. So most more introverted, I'm more extroverted. Last yeah. question. Why is your friend a great friend? Let me just say Mo is not a good friend. She made me film this video with her. I don't I don't even know like who you are. I'm gonna answer this one first. Mo is a great friend because she's always there. There have been times I needed Mo in the most inconvenient time, place, everything. She's there. No no matter what. No questions asked. 
she she is there. She will drop everything to help her friend, and you're very selfless when it comes to your friends. Oh, thanks. I'd say Megan is a great friend. One, because you're like a ridiculously good listener. Like you're not one of those people. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Mo's a good listener too. Oh, thanks. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> you're fine. But um, like if I, no matter the size of the problem, whether it's something so like almost like meaningless or if it's a big huge life thing you can just sit there and vent to Megan and she'll listen like she won't throw her opinion in there like you know when it's not wanted like she, you, you just listen so yeah I definitely say like that's something that makes you a great friend and like you're really fun to be around Thanks. we laugh so much when we're together so I guess that wraps it up yeah that wraps it all up all right so that is the end of the best friend tag I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to know us a little bit more. In our last vlog, we kind of... We touched on this yeah. a little bit. So hopefully it kind of expanded what we were talking about. And you got to know us and our likes and our dislikes and our... And what we hate about each and other. And what we hate about each other. All that good stuff. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next Friday. <laughs>